They have made their bed and they're going to have to lie in it. And it starts today. A jury found 11 of 12 former Atlanta educators guilty on felony racketeering charges Wednesday in what's being called the largest public school cheating scandal in U.S. history. The scandal stems from allegations made in 2008 that former Atlanta Public School Superintendent Beverly A. Hall orchestrated a cheating scheme where educators changed the answers to student score sheets on a statewide exam. The Atlanta Journal-Constitution was the first outlet to point out suspicious increases in test scores at certain schools. By the summer of 2009, the state of Georgia had launched its own investigation. At one school, investigators say the principal and his teachers held after-school parties where they sat around and corrected tests before turning them in to be graded. The return for educators? They received praise and even bonuses when their students scored well. The catch, students were promoted to their next grades without being prepared to succeed. 21 other educators pleaded guilty to lesser charges before Wednesday's verdict. Of the 12 charged, only one was acquitted. I'm thankful to God that I'm able to walk out of here today. Anybody who looked at it felt like she shouldn't have been here. From the outset, her kids didn't pass the test. As for Hall, the so-called mastermind in the cheating scandal, she died of breast cancer in March with her legacy as an educator tarnished and criminal allegations unresolved. We'll just have to live with that, that we'll never know as Atlantans the whole story of what happened. And it's a shame not to know that. The 11 defendants convicted could face up to 20 years in prison for the most serious charges. Their sentencing is next week. For Newsy, I'm Christian Bryant.